Sean uh, was our first draft choice. I thought many times over that four years, how many times God must have looked down and said, man, I made a great football player. When it comes to peace, Sean was at peace in his life, you know. It, it showed in everything he did. He, he was always smiling in the locker room. He came to work with the right attitude. And one day, you know, he said, Clint, man, you're always smiling. I wish I could do that. And, you know, I'm wondering, I'm thinking the same thing about you. Superman is an understatement uh, when you're thinking of Sean T. That was the best play I ever seen, and uh, for me to go out and put that jersey on, uh, uh, I can't live up to those expectations, and I can't be Sean Taylor, so I won't even try it. never this sad, wanting you to keep your head up and never getting mad, saying prayers and telling you our thoughts so you know that you will always be in our hearts, hoping this never happened, wondering why, wishing you the best while not wanting to cry, I never wanted you to leave, but my heart that loves you will always be, I'm waiting to see you again, but I know you're home. I believe he would have been inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But I also feel if there was a Hall of Fame for being the best person, the very best person, he'd be in that Hall of Fame too. When he came to the Redskins, I was his guardian angel. And then the way events went, as God would have it, he turned out to be one of mine. So today, my heart is broken. I'll get through it. We'll all get through it. But I know that he was one of my guardian angels, and he was there for me.
Sean, I love you as my brother. I love you as my friend. The rest of my fellas and my teammates that I never had the opportunity or, or took advantage of the opportunity of letting you guys know how much I love and care about you guys. This is the time to do it. And this is a great starting point for me. And I'm going to miss him with all my heart.